going from point A to C, it has two pulleys. One is attached at point B, one is attached at point C. And then you have a rod which goes from B to D. And what you really need is to find reactions at this point as well as this point. And you want to find the force in the cable which attaches to the winch at W. So we need to draw free body diagrams. So let's first look at the rod AB by itself. If we take this point as A, this point as B, and the far end, let's say, as C. Now, A is a pen, so it's just easy to place two reactions, AX as well as a one. Then we look at the uh, member B D. So if you look <coughs> at B D, this point being D and this point being B. Now for that particular member, the B is a pen, so there will be a reaction at this point, and D is a pen, so you'll have reaction at D. So, there is no force between D and B. So, since there is no force, that means you remember BD will act as a two force member. <coughs> so, if it is a two force member, then you'll have forces only at the ends. And these forces will be this is along the member itself. And you could call this force, let's say, as F B D. Then there will be another force the same magnitude as F B D. I mean it's it's pretty much like a truss member. Where both ends are pinned and your force in that member will either be a tension or a compression. And I'm assuming at this point that to be strictly a uh, tension. So this point is same as this point, which means there will be a force in the member which will be same magnitude as FPD, except it needs to be in opposite direction. And this angle here, since this is 4, this is 4, this is 45. So <coughs> the force here is going to be 45 degrees. So that's what you get as the effect of member DB. Then you got two pulleys. You got pulley at B and you got pulley at C. So we need to look at each of these pulleys and see how the force is going to be exerted by those pulleys. So first we look at pulley E. On pulley E, we already know there is a crane which is exerting a weight of 700 pounds in downward direction. So that's the applied force then you have this cable goes around, comes back and goes over, then goes over and attaches at the winch. So you're going to take the force in cable as T. So, <coughs> so there's a force T and T, that's tension. Then on this end, there's going to be a force as T. Then on this end, you have for same force. T and T, that's in tension. So that will give you another force T. So as I said that we're making a simple assumption that the force due to friction between the rope and the pulley is zero. So that's what you get as the free body diagram for the pulley at point E. And it's easy if we sum your force in the 
y direction that should go to zero it gives you t plus t minus 700 goes to zero and you get basically going to get t as 350 half 